it is Sandler Trans here today, and I have one very important question to ask. Does capitalism kill 20 million people every year? Well, I'm going to go over some numbers and some sources and stuff, and we'll, we'll talk about it together, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We've got quite a bit. And I'm not even going to go over the whole list of things. And we're excluding things like war. So keep that in mind. Now, why does this question get brought up? Why, why am I asking and answering? Well, it's because I still, to this day, keep seeing the Black Book of Communism number cited of 100 million dead in 100 years, which was provably false. And they did a lot of bullshit number manipulation such as adding in famines for, like, diseases and, and stuff, and wartime numbers, such as uh, the, the number of Nazis that were killed in the USSR. Uh, I think that's a little unfair, and I'm not even going to add in wartime efforts to these numbers. Will we get up to exactly 20 million each year with just the uh, four stats that I'm going to cover? Probably not. There's definitely more to them than what I've got here. But we're just going to go over these and see how close we get. Because I, I believe, if I remember correctly, that there's six total stats that are looked at in this. No, no, it's, it's four. So we've got all four accurate. We've got homelessness, and if we pull up our browser here, we have homelessness. And uh, if you use a moderate portion of the estimate, 58 to 100 to 46,500 deaths. Now, what I did for this number, and I'll let you know, is I took a rough median of 28,000. I guess it would be closer to 19, 20,000, but I took 28,000. I think that's fairly accurate, pretty fair for you. So if you pull up the calculator, uh, that's just in the US, by the way. You have, then the number manipulation gets done, 28,000. And what's this? World Health Organization. Oh, wow. Wow. And if you come over here to the global homeless statistic, you've got a lot. And essentially, there's another large large chunk of uh, the population that is homeless. And this is a whole different uh, statistic than was on the chart that I had. And so you can safely add in, because there's 7.3 million people in South Korea, so you can safely add in about million people. And I'll actually go super generous on this actually. Instead of 2 million, we'll go 1 million and 100,000. Let's just go with that. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Now, wh why, am I, why am I putting hunger on it? Well, for one, we do a lot of work with uh, subsidizing things not to be farmed to artificially have price on them. Because, I mean, if we did a lot of, like, the wheat farming and stuff that we do or sugar or whatever, uh, it would literally cost nothing for us to buy it. And uh, so they would be operating at a loss. So we subsidize them to stop growing. This uh, corn is another big one, I'm pretty sure. So this right here is a restriction of uh, access to food. Oh, 
top of that, you have the need to buy food at an exorbitant prices. Instead of it having, instead of having like food rations and stuff handed out, uh, kind of similar to the way Cuba does, because nobody in Cuba is actually hungry. It's like that's a total fucking lie. We've got a bunch of different ways we could go about this. Uh, we also throw out food when it starts to go bad. We do all sorts of crazy practices, all sorts of ridiculous and stupid practices that keep people from having access to food. That's for food. As for homes, I didn't even see it. Uh, as for food, we have, uh, or as for, uh, no, sorry, not food. As for homes here, we have a, a ridiculous housing market. Just absolutely, it's not okay, okay? It's discriminatory, for one. I mean, we've got, still in practice, we've got remnants of redlining and other such practices here in the United States. Housing prices are unaffordable because people have the notion that the land is, like, super valuable for you to own. It's a whole bunch of stupid shit that's been ingrained into us because of the capitalist system. Our mindset is set to believe these certain beliefs. Gatekeeping home ownership is a big one. Allowing people to buy up large swaths of land to develop homes, uh, uh, restricting home building access, uh, especially for affordable housing, for business purposes. These are all problems of capitalism. And so we have lack of housing. This is just in Europe, and the first one is in the US. And if you go to the global homeless one, yeah, 1.6 million people just from housing. Then we move on to hunger. And from the UN, losing 25,000 people to hunger every day. And I did some math. We end up with... I'm going to type this onto my notepad so you can see that I am not... Million six hundred twenty nine. That's a lot of fucking people. Oh, we're halfway there, and we're only on statistic number two. And I've got other sources to support this. Every single one of them is going to be in the video. I'm doing this kind of a live format, not really doing an editing thing. So, just to show you my, my sources, right here, see, we've got National Homeless Mortality Overview, and this is for the U.S., scale of homelessness deaths in the U.S. You can actually go through the whole thing, and it's, it's not even homeless deaths reviewed in these areas, demographics of people who died, and it goes through the whole thing with the impact of COVID on them, too. 27 pages long, you can look through it yourself. New evidence from the World Health Organization and others that housing causes more than 100,000 annual deaths in Europe. And this one's old, 2011. So this is a little bit of an older data set, but you can look up from here. It really hasn't gotten much better. Uh, I haven't been able to find it since I did research on this again, but the first time I looked, I was able to find some more recent data. And you can scroll through here and get a good estimate, which is what I did for the homeless. I said 1.5 million, and that's for all of this. There's almost guaranteed to be more, possibly double, about 3 million from homelessness. But I don't even need to go there. Then we've got food. Six-fold increase in people suffering from famine-like conditions since the pandemic began. So this actually, hold on a second, 155 million people are now living in, okay, so we'll say 30% of this. So we've got 10,763,000. Okay, 
So we'll say a third of 155 million people. What do you know? Actually, actually, no. We we won't do a third. To be, whoa. We'll do 155 million divided by we'll say five. We'll say a fifth. 31 million people. Plus 10 million seven hundred and fifty three thousand. Ooh. Ooh. So we're currently at forty one million seven hundred and fifty three thousand. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, definitely not good. Now, how is all of this the problem? You know, the hunger thing, the problem of capitalism? Well, we produce so much fucking food, we have enough wealth in all of the major capitalist countries that we could provide food to literally every single person on the planet for free, and it wouldn't hurt us at all. But guess what? We don't fucking do it, because capitalist lobbyists who want to make money off of fucking food, the capitalist mindset of people who think that they should have to pay for food, and, um, well, there's a big deal with, like, restaurants and shit. I don't mind if you pay for somebody else to prepare your food. That's whatever. Should you have to pay for food? Fuck no. Now, that is just housing and food. We haven't even gotten to the other two. I don't know about this, y'all. This seems pretty fucking bad. All right. So, if you come to this page here, Global Immunizations. This is from Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Despite the success, more than 1.5 million people worldwide died from vaccine-preventable diseases. That's from that number alone. You can actually come up over here. And that's just from the vaccine preventable. And then 900,000 die from the top one heart disease, premature cancer, chronic lower respiratory COPD, or CLRPD, stroke, unintentional injuries. So about another 900,000 just in America fucking causes them to death. 55.4 million which all but the Alzheimer's is preventable. Two point six million.
two million. Okay, not even a total list. This is just diseases now. 52,053,000 people dead per year from things that we could actually prevent. Now, you may ask, how could we prevent the heart disease stuff and the stroke and the COPD and the lower respiratory infections? Well, see, we've got, again, these food lobbies who push for things like the, uh, the, the healthy food shit being super expensive and un unaccessible to most people food deserts being out there because grocery stores don't want to build in certain areas. So you've got these food deserts where the only things around are unhealthy foods like McDonald's, which as a big capitalist corporation is fucking everywhere, promoting themselves constantly as something that is good for you to eat, which it's fucking not. And we allow this because it makes money. It pushes revenues. It builds GDP. And I mean, I hate to say it. Actually, I really don't. But that's a capitalist issue. Shit like that is capitalism. Shit like not being able to afford to go to a doctor, thus these communicable diseases and or non-communicable diseases and shit that we could prevent if we actually had preventative care and you could go early. Guess what? <clears throat> nope. There's an overlook in doctors and shit because there's a monetary incentive to find certain things and not a monetary incentive to find other things. So you've got issues where because of money, the need to survive under capitalism, we have massive numbers of deaths. And we haven't even gotten to the fucking water yet, y'all. 52 million people annually. And so lack of clean water, 29% of the global population didn't have access to clean water. At least 2 billion people used drinking water sources contaminated with feces. Which is right here. You can actually look that up at this right here, 3.4 million people. So if you want to add 3,400,000, you have uh, clean water could easily be established and whatnot as a public service. And as a matter of fact, we have utilities here in the United States and shit that take care of that. So, <clears throat> and it's, it's pretty affordable. So you, you, you should have access to clean water no matter where the fuck you are on this planet. But no, it's not profitable to do it in a lot of these areas, so. This is the total. This is the fucking total. This does not account for wars. This doesn't even, like, let me. Let me go to my fucking Twitter so I can pull this thing up. This is the original thing that I was working off of, and I completely forgot to pull malaria. I just pulled preventable disease, hunger, clean water, and then housing. Now, this is where I find things a little bit funny, is why would you go with die of malaria, which is a curable disease? I'm pretty sure. Why would you put malaria there? To get 20 million? I guess it was just specifically to get the five years kills as many as what people claim communism did in 100 years. Um, but you don't even have to do that. Like, you could get way worse. You can really stuff it to them.
the words to dodging a debate. Hey, this motherfucker right here won't debate. I don't do debates, y'all. Anyone who's been on my channel knows he won't debate. Come on now. Why won't he debate? Because he's scared. Uh, I was getting cut out of this. Anyways, the the whole point is you do not need you don't need to have malaria on there. You can replace malaria with water, housing. You can have water, housing, food, disease. And I could even be charitable and cut this number in half. And then if you divide that, or if you multiply that by 100, uh, well, what do you know? 2.7 billion people. That's, that's fucking way more than the 100 million that socialism or communism supposedly killed. So, in summary, uh, all of these links will be in the description of the video. You can look through all of this and pull data and do your own mathematical stuff, at, you know, and come to roughly similar conclusions and figure out that, yeah, no, if you think of it as Capitalism is the direct blockade that stops solutions that work from being implemented because they're not they're not profitable. They go against the IMF and the World Bank. Then what? It 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 might just be that capitalism kills way the fuck more people than any socialist dictator ever did. And now. To cap this off, um, people like to throw Mao and Stalin and Chavez and Che Guevara and Muammar Gaddafi and Pol Pot and blah 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 and, and try and be like, oh, but they killed 94 million in a hundred years. What about them? They, they killed so many people. Some people are even saying that Mao himself killed 80 million people, which also is not true. Um, but here, here's the kicker. Out of all the ones you list there, only Pol Pot was actually a communist. Was he bad? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, he was bad. But everyone else was a capitalist. Sorry, Stalin, those numbers go to you. Mao, those numbers go to you. Chavez, Che, th those numbers go to you. Mm. I don't make the rules. I just live by them. Except not really, I'm an anarchist. But I still don't make the rules. I am literally just living by the ones you put in place for this one. I'm just abiding by them. That's all you. That's all capitalism, buddy. All of it. So, that's definitely going to wrap this up. Um, it doesn't need a whole lot of research, honestly, to type in things like, I, I don't know how many people die of X each year. And you can look through the numbers. Right here, all this, right here. Every single one of these. Oops, see, right. Okay, hold on. Every single one of these, you can get your numbers, you can look through them. I mean, you got all of this right here, you can look through. These are all source. See, you've got all these UNICEF and water.org and the water project and fight poverty. And all of this is available for you to look at. You just type in the different things or click the links in the description of this video, which I'm going to put. Just, just saying. You don't have to take my word for it. You should, but you don't have to. Now, I mostly did this because I, I get told I never do any actual research on like Twitter or anything from people who don't look at my channel or anything that I do or even look up the shit that they're talking about. So, you know, you kind of look through all of this stuff and they've got notes and they've got the technical questions and stuff. And you got the local home there and you can obviously go to any and each one of them is linked so you can go to those. And then you got this and you can go to it as the triple challenge and what the problem is. Under nutrition and, and chronic disease, a dual threat, yep, 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 and government react, uh, and try, what the crisis teaches us. And you can go through all of this, and essentially the crisis teaches me that we need to decommodify food and give access to food to literally everybody on this fucking planet because we have more than enough money to be able to do so and more than enough resource, uh, 
generation. We, 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 we grow more than enough food to be able to do this. And then you go through here. And, and they've got this and this, and they've got references here. And they've got this right here. And they've got all these references. All of the hepatitis and stuff. Yeah, so you, you can get every single number right here. You can go through it. All of it. Every single one of these, and they're not super long. They're really this size. It's really not that long. It's not. This one's a little longer because it's got charts, but all the text and stuff is really not that long. This one's a little longer, and it, it, and the links in it are longer. But you can look through them all. So yes, in summary, capitalism kills if you're super generous. 27,726,500 people every year by being a barrier in front of access to the solutions that would prevent these deaths. So these are all the preventable ones. This doesn't include war. This doesn't include car accidents, which don't get considered preventable deaths. None of that. This is all stuff that we could, that the stuff that we as people could do to stop these deaths or help prevent these deaths. Could we stop all of them? No. But if you're super generous, there's this one. And if you're not generous, then 55,453,000, which means in just under two years, capitalism kills way the fuck more people. In just under two years, when you hit that 100 million mark, people say 94 million for communism. That's under two, and that's over 100 years. So, just, just think about the issues and how you per portray them, because I would say that capitalism is a literal barrier to effective solutions that would prevent these deaths. 27 million or 55 million. It's somewhere in there. To be safe, I'll say 30 million every year. No, I know. We'll, we'll go 33 just to make it a nice round third of 100 million. That, that's it. I mean, that that's... That's all I gotta say about it. Capitalism kills people. So there you go. Enjoy. Uh, seriously, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe, hit the notification, hit, leave the bell. You know, the, the ding, ding, dings. And uh, we we should be fucking good. I'm out. Yeah. Take care.